Hey guys, what's up? Son of Chelsea here, and this is going to be my West Brom reaction video. Um, and it has to be that because it was such a crazy game. Uh, as you can probably tell, my voice is gone. It was gone by half time. I've sort of recovered from yesterday. I had to have a recovery. I mean, not going into exactly the details, I mean, but like, it feels like for me, the last, like, last night was the last time I had a real good, like, actual sleep because it felt like a long like 48 hour period and the game was in that so but what a game and how we won it I still don't know you had literally everything in that game uh, firstly let's talk about the man of the moment Pedro uh, my boy Pedro I said on Friday I thought he should st I, I thought he should, he should start and of course he did and he was absolutely amazing I have never seen a debut from a Chelsea player like that um, at some the guy I was sitting with, uh, Marco, one of my mates, he said that it was. He remembered Ian Robin when he like came on off the bench. It was one of his debuts. You could probably count to Diego Costa against Burnley, but still, it doesn't really compare. And com if you look at the way the team was performing at that point, really, he was the best player on that pitch by a mile uh, for Chelsea, at least. And yeah, just the way he ran forward, the goals. If there was no Pedro. We weren't winning that game yesterday. There was no doubt in my mind. We wouldn't have won that game without Pedro. And it just shows you how much width he gave us, how much direct play, scoring the goal, the quality in midfield, the tracking back, the aggressiveness, the pace. Everything about his game was just brilliant. And, you know, it really is exciting to know we've bought that player, you know, and we've got him and it's, it's another element to our team that we didn't have before. Um... Talking on the overall team performance, let's be honest, it wasn't very good. Um, but I guess, you know, it's an away day and, you know, I don't really care because it's, it's an experience. But, you know, um, and it made the game more entertaining, I guess. But, uh, yeah, certain players I'm going to have to single out at this point. Branislav Ivanovic, I have been a big defender of Ivanovic. But for me, cannot start in games uh, currently. He is so out of form. That right side was just so open. I mean, West Brom literally, I could, there were probably over a hundred times in that game. I know it sounds ridiculous, where West Brom could just go out to that right side and they would just get past him. It, it's where both of their goals came from. It originated from that side. Um, and yeah, Ivanovic had a big part to play as well. Just the two in midfield, Matic and Fabregas. Fabregas didn't put one pass right for me in the game. John Terry's red card, people blamed on Terry. Said Fabregas was key in that part, uh, slow on the ball, gets dispossessed and that's how they, they got through and that's why John Terry uh, took Rondon down, Matic as well, I mean the most blatant penalty you're ever going to see in your life, I mean and you know it's just you're asking for trouble, um, you know uh, I think players like Azpilicueta, uh, Hazard, I think Willian as well grew into the game as it went on but in the Premier League you just cannot have that many weak links and what worries me coming out of yesterday is when we come up against better opposition, you know, you look at the Palace next week, if, if Ivanovic is on that right side and if Fabregas and Matic don't get their act together, we are in trouble next week because Palace are a brilliant away side. But, you know, I don't want to be too negative. I, I'm, so, I'm kind of speaking like someone who I dislike, you know, so someone who's really negative after every game, even after we win. It was a brilliant win, don't get me wrong. And, you know, I wouldn't, I'm, going on away days with Chelsea is the best thing. You know, it, it there's no, like, comparison to what, what it is like going on away day. The fans were amazing from first to 90th I minute. Mean, apparently, we were we were good on TV and we were good in the stadium. Uh, you know, banner with the West Brom fans. You know, uh, singing all the players' names. You know, just I I love going on away days. I can't really give a sophisticated review because you know it's kind of hard when you're in that kind of raw kind of emotion. Um, I was able to watch extended highlights last night. Pretty much, I kind of knew coming out of the game exactly what was going on. I thought Diego getting his goal was uh, was good. Uh, of course, he didn't have a brilliant game. I think the goal was the most important thing. He got on the score sheet. Currently, I think our players are out of confidence. And if they have any time to think about anything, you know, like Hazard's chance, Costa's chance in the second half, even maybe not Falcao's chance, but several times. If, if players have time to think about something at the moment, they don't score. You know, like you look at Diego's goal, it was he had no time to think about that. Like it was just literally instinct going put it in the back of the net. Uh, Aspilicueta's one just came back to him and luckily just like shot and slotted it in, um, which was good. Seeing Dave score was brilliant. 
because uh, you don't get many of those. They're they're they're, they're rarity. So it's a, it's a token and it's like something as a collector's item. That's the the words I'm looking for. Um, and I mean, yeah, I mean the goals were just so easy from them. Uh, just on the opposition, I mean, uh, I thought Morrison had a great game for them. Uh, and and you know, other than that, I think one player who he came on late, and I'm a big admirer of this guy, Serge Serge Gnabry. Everyone calls him Gnabry, Serge Gnabry from Arsenal on loan. What a player that's going to be. I mean, I've always rated him, and you know the way he turned Fabregas. I mean, like you know, what I mean, I've tried to look for that turn again. Just like he is going to be an amazing player, and you know, I I just think you know West Brom fans, if they're already watching, you know, you've got some player in your hands, and if Tony Pulis can utilize him. To the right kind of utilize him on that right wing, find out his best position, use him. He can become a key player for you this season um, because that guy has just pays power. You know he's he's built and bulked, and you know um, you know I think West Brom yeah they're a tough assignment to go to. Um, I guess my my good omen came true. You know I went to Aston Villa, beat them uh, after losing there. And you know Jose Mourinho come back to West Brom. You know we haven't won there since 2011. It was a tough game, penalty save. I I probably should have gone into the front two rows, two rows in front of me on on the the, the penalty save, the goal, all the goals. You know just crazy. We went absolutely mental. And sometimes TV doesn't still doesn't justify that how crazy we went when Courtois saved that. Um, but you know let me know all your opinions down. Pedro on fire, JT suspended. Uh, Ivanovic, for me, needs to be taken out of the team. I don't know why Babaraman wasn't even in the squad. Um, Fabregas and Matic's form. And, uh, yeah, I think Hazard, Oscar and Pedro, that sounds so brilliant. That's, but I think that can really be... Uh, and seeing Diego get off the mark. So, that's really it. That was really it for the game. Onwards and upwards. It's looking good on the relegation battlefront. I think we are going to stay up, guys. So uh, thanks for watching and follow me on Twitter at Son of Chelsea. Subscribe to 100% Chelsea. You can also check out my channel, Son of Chelsea, in the link below. And uh, yep, I'll see you again.